After the marking has finished, awarding is the process of deciding how well a student has done. Some qualifications just have a pass grade, and here the awarding process makes sure that students have reached the required standard to achieve the qualification. Qualifications like GCSE and A-levels have a number of different grades which indicate how well the student has done relative to other students in that year. This can be a useful indication to prospective employers and education providers of how well a student understands the subject. Having different grades means making decisions about where the boundaries between each grade should lie. WJEC always aims to set exam papers with the same level of difficulty, but as the exam papers are different each year, there is always a risk that a particular exam might be a little more or less demanding than previous ones. So that students are not disadvantaged by this, separate grade boundaries are usually set for each exam paper and for any coursework and controlled assessment. This takes place at an awarding meeting where a group of senior examiners compare student answers from last year with this year's answers to see if the marks line up at the same standard. To make a fair comparison with the previous year, statistics are also used to see if this year's group of students are different from those in the previous year. These statistics compare factors such as age, gender, type of school and student performance in previous exams. After careful consideration of all the evidence, the senior examiners decide what the minimum mark for each grade should be to ensure the grade boundaries for the current year are at the same standard as the previous year. WJEC then applies these grade boundaries and calculates the grade each student has achieved. To ensure that we can have confidence in the standard of qualifications, this process is overseen by the qualifications regulators. Ofqual in England, Welsh Government in Wales and SEER in Northern Ireland. And all awarding organisations have to follow the same code of practice.